Yo everyone, check this out. Hope every single one of you is having a phenomenal day. I'm excited. I'm ready to go all in for you and every single one of you. I love you. I adore you. I I I am so grateful for you. Oh my god. We're here to level up, baby. Let me see my bald head. Has to get in the frame real quick. Let me see. Let me see. There we go. There's my bald head right there. <laughs> All right. So today's video is going to be about this wonderful book. As you can see right here, I will, I've been holding it on my hand. I'm going to go to sleep to it. I mean, I'm, I'm going to go to... Now, I'm not going to go to sleep to it. Nah, I can't go to sleep to this one right here. What I meant is I'm going to go to sleep with it. But I want to say I love you all. This one's a compound effect. Jumpstart your income, your life, your success by making the small, the smallest choices, the insignificant choices that you disregard, the choices that you're so unconscious of. Make those choices conscious. Make the unconscious conscious. Oh my God, you will change your life. It comes down to your awareness. But before I get to the point, because I've been already saying most of what I've been what I, most of what I'm going to talk about in this video let's not waste some time you know because someone's laughing right now all right but anyways compound effect by Darren Hardy let's go check this out chapter two chapter two is amazing this this one's about choices so let's get to it all right so choices all right I'm I'm just gonna read some highlights for you all right Check this out. So choices are at the root of every one of your results. Each choice it starts by a behavior that over time becomes a habit. Your choices become habits. So choose poorly. You know, choose poorly, and you you just might find yourself back at the drawing board, forced to make new, often harder choices. Don't choose at all, and you've actually made the choice to be the passive receiver of whatever comes your way. Damn. Don't choose at all, and you you might might as well make the choice of becoming a passive receiver. Literally, bro. Some of you guys are walking like, are literally sleepwalking. Not knowing what the hell you're doing. Not knowing what your choices are. Not knowing what the fuck you're choosing. Literally. What are you choosing to do? That'll literally determine your whole success. The compound effect. The compound effect. The compound effect, ready to go, ready to blast. All right, so let's say right here. So how, how many, ask yourself, how many behaviors have I not voted on? What am I doing that I didn't consciously choose to do, yet continue to do every day? Think about that. Wow. So how many behaviors do you not vote on? Because... Those behaviors are literally unconscious. Those are the ones that you're just automatically doing without even thinking. Those are the ones that you should convert into conscious choices. And you will drastically change your whole life. Whether it is your, um, your whatever, what, what do you call it, bruh? Oh, your diet, whatever you're eating and shit. It can be based off whatever you're spending. I rec highly recommend you bring in the... I should speak another language, bruh. Anyways, I highly recommend. It's just I'm just so fucking excited. I highly recommend to bring a little notebook or whatever you feel comfortable with, whatever looks cool to you, and just bring it in your pocket or your purse, whatever, and track everything, whether it's saving money, right? You want to save this certain amount of money or or uh, you want to lose this certain amount this certain, this certain, oh my god, what the fuck? This certain, oh my, bruh. This certain amount of pounds. Look, like, if you want to lose five pounds, all right, you got to track everything. Tracking, winners are trackers. You got to tra track everything. Literally, wh whatever you consume, whether it's a fucking tortilla, whether it is juice, anything like that. You sh just track everything you put in your mouth, period. So the biggest challenge isn't that you've isn't that you've intentionally been making bad choices. Heck, that would be easy to fix. Your biggest challenge is that you've been sleepwalking through your choices. 
half the time you're not even aware you're making them. Bruh. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, man. Make the unconscious conscious. All right? What's the next one? What's the next one? What's the next? Level love, baby. Level love, baby. That's the only choice, man. The only choice. Oh my god, this is gonna... <laughs> this is gonna get so much fucking better. Woo! So the first step toward change is awareness. If you want to get from where you are to where you want to be... You have to start by becoming aware of the choices that lead you away from your desired destination. Let me read that shit again. The first step toward change is awareness. If you want to get from where you are to where you want to be, you have to start by becoming aware of the choices that lead you away from your desired destination. So fucking be aware of the shit that you know will not take you to your desired destination, man. Whether it's fucking... Jupiter, shit like that, man. I don't believe in fucking planets, dog. I believe the universe is amazing. I believe the Earth is flat, but let's not get to that point. Let's make a video on that later on in the future, all right? <laughs> Woo! Get pumped up, baby. Let's go. So this quote by Jim... Oh, that shit rhymed, though. Oh, shit, again, though. All right. So this quote by Jim Rohn, what's simple to do is also simple not to do. What's simple not Jim Jim Rohn. What's simple to do is also simple not to do. Perra madre, that was fucking fire, dog. I'm fucking pumped up. I'm getting a pump just by being so excited. So the magic is not in the complexity of the task. The magic is in doing of simple things repeatedly and long enough to ignite the miracle of the compound effect <laughs> repeatedly and long enough how long can you fucking do the things that seem so insignificant that's a motherfucking winner right there if you can fucking do that shit for a long periods of time congratulations brother and sister so the biggest difference between successful people and unsuccessful people is that successful people don't do... Okay, the biggest difference between successful people and unsuccessful people is that successful people do the things that unsuccessful people don't, period. I don't even have to fucking read that shit. Bam. So remember that saying, and that shit will literally come in handy in times of fucking throughout life when faced with difficult, tedious, and tough choices, all right? Remember that shit. Remember that shit, dog. So I want to say right now, like I like I've said, like I said before in this video, all winners are trackers. Track everything, okay? Right now, I want you to track your life, you know? This is what the book says. With the same intention to bring your goals within sight. Come on, with, 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 with whatever it is, you want to lose this amount of weight, you want to fucking uh, have a greater relationship, uh, whatever it is that you want to go in the gym, fucking, blah, 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 fucking track that shit. You cannot manage or improve something until you, Im you cannot manage or improve something until you measure it, measure that shit. Likewise, you can't make the most of who you are, your talents and resources capabilities until you are aware of of and accountable for your actions be accountable for your actions if you're not accountable for your fucking actions <laughs> if you're not accountable for your actions you will not hold others accountable period all right bam bam all right all right this shit's about to get and it's already amazing let's fucking <laughs> Bro, are you okay, bro? Some of you guys are might, might be like, what the fuck is this guy saying? Put a shirt on, dude. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, dude. Put a shirt on. What the fuck? I, I don't... The reason why I don't have a shirt on is because I fuck... I fucking love my body. Be happy. Be proud. Don't no, not. God says don't be proud. Literally, he says that in the Bible. So, I kind of like... I used to have that thought of like, ah, uh, fuck, dude, I should make myself proud and shit. But the real thing is that just live full. Live 
Live to your truest potential. Love yourself. Love is the highest frequency state. Period. It's literally the highest frequency state. Like, once you feel love, you'll literally be vibrating so fucking... Elect it'll, be, it'll be electrifying and magnetic to others. Others will feel it from miles away, bruh. They'll feel that shit. They'll be like, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Let me get... Let me talk to you, bro. You'll literally be twitching and shit. <laughs> your life is a product of your moment-to-moment -moment choices. Your life is a product of your moment-to-moment -moment choices. Your life is a product of your moment-to-moment -moment choices. Your life is a product of your moment-to-moment -moment choices, brah. Get that shit ingrained in your brain. See, he's clapping, my nigga. Losing is a habit. So is winning. Now, let's work on permanently instilling winning habits into your life. Eliminate all sab sabotaging habits. And instill the needed positive habits. And you can take your life in any direction you desire. To the heights of your greatest imagination. Let me show you how. Well, guess the fuck. Guess what the fuck I've shown you already. I've shown you how to fucking. You already, you already know, bro. I'm speechless, bro. What the fuck, man? I should just throw this book. I'm kidding, dog. I still got some chapters going on, bro. But that's it. Compound effect. Thank you so much, Darren Hardy. I got this book for free. Literally. No, wait. Five bucks, man. Five fucking bucks. Invest in yourself. Or what the fuck are you doing? Literally, are you just spending your money because that pleasure? You're chasing pleasure over fucking purpose, dog? I spend money, tons of money. But guess what? I spend it on self-investment. Whatever is gonna... What's the return on investment? I look at things, I'll be like, damn. Is, okay, let's say the price tag is $1, right? Ah, shit, dog. Is that shit worth like 200 bucks? Like, literally, I flip the fucking... My mentality... And look at it from a perspective that's like a hundred two hundred dollars, like fucking two hundred times more. And I'm like, okay, is this shit gonna like benefit me? If it does, well worth it. Go ahead and buy it. Literally, bro. I just bought all these books right now. About more. These books. <laughs> this shit fucking gets me fucking excited. Alright? Just the one I let you know. Self fucking invest in yourself or you're a fucking loser. Losers don't fucking have a purpose. They're just fucking drifting around. Making the stupidest choices. Fucking deterior deteriorating your whole life. Literally, bro. Take care of yourself and your life will take care of you. Everything fucking happens for you, not to you. And once you get that, that'll literally change your whole life. So start making those small choices. And start tracking everything. Winners are trackers. Track everything. And you will see the significance. Be patient. Patience is fucking a fucking crucial factor to your success. If you're not patient, you will fucking sabotage yourself. Fucking su succumb to your weaknesses. Wake the fuck up. I love y'all. Check this out. On the next video is going to be about habits. I love you, sing. Oh my God, I love you all. Let's fucking grow. Let's fucking feel the energy, this love, this frequency state. That fucking frequency. The love frequency state. The enlightenment. Like I said, the one who self develops the most is the most wealthy. Wake the fuck up.